There are tools for moving, rotating and object snaps to align objects in a drawing, as well as object snap points to help doing this. In this class, we will introduce you to another command which is very useful for aligning entities. This is the Align command on the browser menu, the Modify option. This command moves, rotates and resizes options in a single operation using selection points. You can also enable it from the Modify panel on the Customize option for easy access to the command. You can even type OWL on the command line to access this command. Let's enable the command and select this object. Now align this model in the drawing. The align command asks you to input the first selection point of the object and then the point where it will be aligned to in the model. Now let's input the second point. Click the point of the object to be aligned and then in the drawing where it will be inserted. If necessary, put a third point so that it fits the part perfectly. However, in this model it's not necessary. Press Enter for confirmation. See how the part has been rotated and fit based on the selected points. This way, it's not necessary to move and rotate the object using two commands. You just need to enable the Align tool to align the model. Let's repeat the same process on the other object. Click the quadrant of the arc and input the desired point in the drawing. Next, use the object snap tools and define these points. See how easy it is to align the object. When two points are selected, you can move, rotate and scale the 2D or 3D selected objects and align them to other objects. The first set of alignment points defines the base point. The second set of points defines the rotation angle. This command is used for two-dimensional as well as three-dimensional drawings. So you see how useful the Align command is as it substitutes the Move, Rotate and Scale commands to position objects.